Hey, what's going on everybody? ETP coming at you guys with another video today, and I've got some Madden 15 Ultimate Team for you guys, and this is a set completion slash reward opening type of thing. I finally completed the Style Master set, and it was a long, long grind. So in this video, I'm going to actually give you guys my strategy for completing this set, how to get your team style up to 90 overall so you can play the all Madden games. And uh, the strategy worked perfectly for me. There was only one instance where I ran into a slight little problem, and I'll talk about that uh, pretty soon here in the video. So, I also haven't really been uploading any Madden. I haven't uploaded any Madden 15 videos, haven't started any series on it or anything, and I'll talk about that at the end of the video. Uh, but right now, we'll go ahead and jump into the strategy. So, as you guys know, there are eight different styles. There are four games within each style that you need to play. And in order to unlock the next game, you have to win the previous one. And your team style has to be at a certain point. So once you get up to that all Madden game, you need to have your team style at 90, which is a really, really high number. And that can be kind of hard to get to if you don't know how to do it. So basically what I did, and this worked perfectly except for one time I got stuck at 89 somehow. And I had to buy an elite player just to boost me over 90 and then I was able to resell him. But other than that, it worked flawlessly every time. So basically you just need to have all gold players for that specific style you're doing. So if you're doing short pass, you need all gold short pass players. The, once you complete the all pro challenge, you'll actually get a player that's probably going to have more of a style boost than a gold player. So if you want to look ahead at that and see what player you'll unlock, you don't have to buy a gold player at that position if you don't want to. I didn't really worry about it because the gold players you're going to be buying aren't expensive at all. All you have to do, say you need a left tackle uh, for a short pass team style, go to the auction house, filter gold, left tackles, short pass, filter it to the uh, buy now price so the lowest one shows up first and you buy them and they're only like 500, 600, 700 coins. Sometimes they creep a little bit over a thousand but not very much at all. Like I think the most I paid was one time I paid for a fullback that was like 1200 um, and he could have ended up being cheaper if I would have just waited a while but I didn't feel like it because 1200 coins isn't too much because um, you're going to be making that back very very fast. So it's really not that expensive. You just need to have those gold players um, with your team style at every position. Now, then once you have all those gold players um, in your lineup, you need to buy an elite coach with that team style. And that'll give you a plus 20 team style bonus, which will jump you over 90 um, as far as the team style goes. Except for that one time where I got stuck at 89. I'm not sure why that happened. I can't remember which style it was, but then the other styles work perfectly. It jumped me to like 92, 93 overall as far as the team style goes. And then it seems like 20,000, 21,000 for an elite coach is kind of a bad purchase, but you can resell them easily. You can resell them for just as much, if not a little bit more. Occasionally, you'll take a little bit of a loss, but it's no big deal. Um, it, you can they resell for sure it seems like they wouldn't resell but they definitely do every single one that I've gotten so far I was able to resell it and then use those coins I got for the sale to buy the next elite coach and it worked out perfectly so that's the strategy I used to complete this style master set the rewards are definitely worth it uh, the elite Peyton Manning 95 overall with two style boosts the elite Luke Keekley 95 overall with two style boosts and even if you don't want those guys, you can auction them off for a ton of coins, like over 100,000 coins. Um, so you guys can do that if you want to. I was actually thinking about doing that maybe. Auction off the uh, Peyton Manning and maybe get like a Cam Newton or something that was like an Elite Cam Newton Special Edition or something. Um, to add more mobility my, to my quarterback. But the Peyton Manning is beast. The accuracy stats and stuff. It's crazy. So that's the strategy I used. Hopefully this will help you guys out if you're trying to complete this style master set. Again, it's a long, long, long grind. It took me forever. Those all Madden games can be very, very tough sometimes. Uh, but the reason why I haven't been uploading any Madden or started any series on here is because I didn't want to really start any because I knew that once 2K comes out, I'm really not going to be playing Madden too much. Like, I'm a fan of Madden but not nearly as much as 2k like once Madden comes out I probably won't touch it for uh, months so that's why I haven't started any series hopefully you guys don't mind that um, but that's pretty much it for the video hopefully you guys did enjoy it let me know down in the comment section if you guys have completed this set what you guys like about ultimate team stuff like that follow me on Twitter subscribe to my channel and I will talk to you guys later